ready to up and leave. Step right up, get on board, watch the engine steam. Get your family and your friends, or a girl that looks so fine. Put your arm around her waist, so we're going down the line. Down the line, down the line, going down the line. Down the line, down the line, going down the line. I don't know what happened. I want to be a part of the American musical fabric. Tracing that history back and then tracing it back to where it comes from. Around and fret about what is and is not mine. Till I put my hands upon the wheel, I'm going down the line, down the line. The great thing about Roots music is you can play loose and you can play wild and, and borderline out of control. But if you can hold on and hold it together, then then you can sing about that feeling, you know, and, and that's that's the groove that should be under that feeling when you sing. Down so low, can I see? Down so low, it's beneath me. Cannot hide it, cannot run. Down so low, under the dark. I think being brothers helps the band function because we're used to being together, we're used to each other's sensibilities. So traveling together, recording together is natural and sort of easy because you know each other so well. Two, three, four. I think it's a good setup for us because when we started it, it was it's 50-50. I'm equally happy singing my own songs as I am backing up Ian's songs. You know, we're brothers, we're on the same, we're on the same team. He's up and you're working too hard. You can worry about work when you're back on the job. Passes and kings you plan to see. You used to view the world so romantic. The original idea when Ian and I started Hobo Nephews and Uncle Frank was to really create a sound that was like a front porch foot stomping sound. Start, it was just to go around and play anywhere that would have us. We'd go and play, you know, hop in the car, the two of us, and we go there and play and play all night long. And then, the, and then the next morning, get in the car and do it again. <laughs> We depend on each other every second of every show. You know, it, there's a ton to each of our jobs on stage, you know. I mean, we have to, we cover for each other. You know, yeah, we have everything to do, you know. I'm stomping my feet, I'm playing harp, I'm playing guitar, I'm singing. Um, I'm interacting with the crowd, you know. I'm covering Ian, I'm, you know, doing all that, and then if Ian needs me to cover for something, I gotta be ready for that. like our two personalities are sort of coexist separately and that creates the, the sound together. That's the beauty, that's how we wanted it, you know, and um, we know that we can rely on each other. And the more that we do that, we, it really makes us stronger players. But when the audience is there and focused on the music and loose and sort of free, then we, you know, lose our self-consciousness and play from this really pure place. So it can happen either way, like we can take the audience there or they can take us there. We 
we've always played clubs and bars and places where we're trying to make a strong impression and also having the ability to uh, create an intimate environment as well. That communal vibe and small and intimate vibe is something that uh, the Hobo Nephews aspire to. This record was really different because doing this at Ryan Young's studio, Ryan Young is probably the closest thing we have to a third member of the band right now. So we really approached the album basically as a, as a three-piece band as opposed to a two-piece band and a producer. were really working on the arrangements of the songs together and we opened up the door to adding different instrumentation that we don't necessarily have live so that really freed us up because that's really the first time we've done that um, where we sort of built the songs that way have you ever seen a smile one million miles long Well, she got one and she got a red dress on She's got ideas both big and wide Got a way with reaching you down deep inside She's salvation, she is danger They say the only place to get your money's worth is at the greatest show. 